first, we're going to start with a man dressed in a skeleton outfit steals $3,200 worth of Cialis. Cialis, man. man. Male enhancement. Enhancement. $3,200 is a lot of money in Cialis. I used to work at a urology office, so I kind of know what I'm talking about. I kind of know how much they run for on the streets. $3,200, that's a lot of Cialis. I mean, like, what do you need with that much Cialis? Like, hold how on, much dick hardening pills do you actually need? Hold up, hold up, hold up. What's up? How, the, you said you worked at like a pharmacy or whatever. How do you You're know the street? Office. Okay, how do you know the street, like, market value? Street market, man. I used to watch The Wire. And they just talk about that stuff all the time. And you kind of count like the ratio, what it does for the person. Those things are expensive on the street. How man. much do you think that you can get some dick pills for? Dick pills on the street? Dick pills on the street? $150 a box. $150 What? How many is in a box? Six. Twelve. <laughs> $150 a box. You making money on the street off of Cialis pills, man. Because people want to be happy. And they're not happy unless they're satisfying their partner, whoever it may be. Now, my... My question is, do you think it's possible that these three individuals stole these Cialis pills for themselves, or are they trying to make a name for themselves on the market? No, man. They're taking it for themselves. They will never be in a situation where they can't perform the way they want to again. Because think about it, man. That might do some damage. That might do some damage to your psyche. You're like, oh, yo, man, I got this girl. Can't perform. I'm stealing $3,200 worth of dick pills. And I'll never be in this situation again. No. Kind of being addicted to dick pills. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. She's like, yo, man, I haven't got it up in three hours, dude. I need more. This is popping dick pills. He's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, he's like, oh, man. Like, no, no, no. Imagine how fucked up it would be, though. Like, you go out to dinner with some girl or whatever, and you're like, okay, we're about to go back to the house. Mm -hmm. Let me take the dick pills. So you take the dick pills, and you don't go back. And she's like, I, right, I'm tired. I'm going home. And you're like... Nah, man, I'm ready to go. Like, like we need to, like we need to go home and finish this, man. Like in rock we hard. need to go home. Like, you can't leave me like this. Like, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do to keep this down. Just tuck it in the, 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 the waistband, band, the waistband, waistband. Your sweatband, or something. That's what you're gonna have to do. It's just, I think it's funny. I think it's funny because maybe, you know what? Maybe just maybe they're being good, kind, spirited individuals, and they know how expensive these pills can be. And they're like, you know what? Kind of like Robin Hood. You know, yeah. rob from the heart and give to the soft. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're like, yo, I'm gonna help some people out. Like, we're gonna take all these pills because thirty two hundred dollars worth of Cialis is a lot. That's a lot. lot of That's a pills. lot. So I can't think anybody with the with the wherewithal say I need this much Cialis pills because they're just getting it every single night. I'm just like, man, you. I, I'm gonna go above and beyond and say maybe they were doing a good thing. You did no. something illegal. No, you did something illegal though. They're trying to fill a void. I'm gonna I'm gonna get straight with them. They're trying to fill a void. They had an experience where. They couldn't perform efficiently. It's kept them up at night, Rick. I, they yeah, can't sleep I anymore. See that. They're sweating bullets. They're scared to go mingle with a partner. Why? Like I said, they couldn't perform. So you know what they chose to do? They chose to get them some Cialis. $3,200 worth. Split it amongst them and their friends. They'll never get, never get soft again. They'll never live in that despair again, Rick. Can you imagine like how how upset you would be? And I can I, I kind of understand now if, if if you have that problem. Hell uh, yeah, if, if you'd you be that, upset. If you had that problem, and you're just so upset. So you go, I'm never having this problem again. And you just steal as much Cialis as you possibly can steal. They Ocean's Eleven this place, and they just got as much dick pills as they could possibly get. It's just to avoid ever having that issue again. They're always gonna have it in their bag, like Tic Tacs, ready to go, ready to pop whenever they're going out with a girl. I wonder if they expire because that's a lot. That's a lot. You man. gotta use a certain by a certain amount of time. Like they're gonna yeah, expire right. in two years. I need to get these done now. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We gotta go now. It's like I'm not even getting laid today, but I don't wanna waste this. Let me just take yeah. it, just walk around. Bro, just... but imagine, imagine they just took it. Just that or however the situation where they took it and they have nothing in front of them. No prey. Imagine the hunt, bro. Yo, <laughs> um, yo. Imagine the hunt! Where you're just like, just, yeah, just, they're in the heat and ready to go. Just like, <laughs> and see people just ready to go. Running like, into the club, like, yeah, man. Like, it's like, I got a loaded weapon, I gotta shoot it. Like, that's right? that's their mentality, you know what I mean? What are you gonna ban? Cialis pills? Yes. Like, what are you gonna ban? Cialis, Cialis pills? pills? I don't know, but, oh, man. And I also love the fact that they dressed up as skeletons. Like I, I thought that was pretty. I badass. thought it was kind of ironic. 
Like, was, Why is that ironic? Because they're dressed up as bones and they want to have the hardest bone. But they want to get a bone. They just want to get a bone, you know what I mean? We understand there's no bone in it, we get it. But it's called a boner, so just saying. We're not stupid, okay? We're not dumb. We're not dumb. But you know, Last we, thing I do want to mention, though, is have you ever pulled off the waistband trick? That's the truth, because because think about it. If these dudes are doing it, they're getting super hard. They gotta put in the waistband. So the question is, how many people have actually done the waistband trick? I've done it. Comment below. I've lived that waistband. <laughs> everybody's lived that in like high, high school. school. You're sitting in history <laughs> class for no reason. You're like, what the hell, man? Tuck it in the waistband, you know? <laughs> and like in like gym class, <laughs> you're doing like this crazy walk like this. He's like, no. <laughs> Like the bent walk, you're like, uh. You walk around gym class and all of a sudden Stephanie wants to come talk to you. You're like, Stephanie, back away Whoa, as soon as you can. Steph, please. Just back away right now. Like, it's about to get real. I'm telling you, man, being a teenage guy, man, that would, sometimes it just wasn't fun. It just, it just, I was the best. It just, sometimes it would just shoot up on you in the middle for no reason whatsoever, just in the middle of class. But like, man, I really can't stand calculus. But apparently you can, so I don't, I don't understand. Maybe that's what they were looking for. They were searching for those teenage years again. They Maybe. were the turn back the hands of time. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that, man, because that's a sad thing to lose. I can understand. That would be a sad thing to lose. They want to be Peter Pan. They want to be Peter Pan. Live forever. Young Scott.